Sometimes I can be an overly cautious person. Even when I have a green light, I still look both ways before crossing the street. Maybe that's a sign of OCD, but every once in a while it comes through so I still do it. I remember one time I had the absolute right of way. I had the green light for a few seconds, so it's not even like the light just changed. But I saw from the corner of my eyes this lunatic who was making an insane turn through a red light. And then I let him go and I crossed the street. Even though it's somewhat common in a major city, that was the first time it really sunk in that being right doesn't really matter. If that car had hit me when I was walking by, he would have been in the complete wrong as I had the right of way, but you don't really care about right or wrong when you're laying in the hospital with a bunch of broken bones. No one gets ran the fuck over and says, huh, but I was in the right though. It just doesn't happen. And this was a tough lesson for me to learn because I'm an opinionated person with very strong convictions about fucking everything, as stupid and as useless as sports, to very important topics and taboos like social issues and religion. I saw these opinions and takes that I had, not just as opinions, but a part of my identity. But now I'm starting to realize that people, myself included, aren't just a series of opinions and takes. They're much more complex than that. And anyone who prides themselves on being logical and reasonable will ultimately fold as soon as they see a lie that makes them feel good. Because as much as we like to pretend that we're this all-knowing stoic being, people are emotional creatures. Before college, I only ever went to two schools in my entire life, and they were seemingly opposites in a lot of ways. One was a conservative, snobby Christian school, and the other was a safe space, woke high school. And aesthetically, they were very different. One was about tradition, values, you know, that Christian value bullshit. And the other was diversity, inclusion, you know, that blue-haired feminist shit. But when you look into the substance of these people, you realize they're all exactly the same. They're both groups of people that follow an ideology which they think makes them better people. And they hope others can follow this ideology so they can become better people. They both have certain things that you can't say or you're breaking the rules. The only real difference is one has Bible verses in their Instagram bio and the other one has pronouns in their Instagram bio. These two sides are always complaining about each other and I think it's because they realize how similar they actually are to each other and they fucking hate it. What I'm trying to say is believe whatever dumb shit you want, just don't shove it down people's throats. You probably believe in more dumb shit than you'd like to admit. So stop trying to change other people's dumb shit that makes them happy. At the end of the day, I don't care if you're a blue-haired feminist, they, them, a fucking Trump supporter, or whatever comes in between. We're much more than the aesthetics and the identifications we give ourselves. So the next time you get the urge to be outraged and write a paragraph on Twitter, taking a moral high ground on something you didn't even know existed five minutes ago, just realize that sometimes being right doesn't really fucking matter. Thanks for watching to the end of this video. Don't forget to drop a dislike and leave an angry comment below.